Beyond the Veil for me is the idea that we don't know what's coming next, so we might as well do as much as we can in this life. So for me, I think the album kind of came together when I thought of the album cover. I remember um, making this really terrible sketch of it and sending it to Daniel and kind of focusing around the symbol with the castle and the moon. So I think that was definitely a big moment as far as progression of the album and giving it a lot of clarity and focus. It's hard to talk about some of this stuff because I don't like to give too much away, but probably the most tragic love story of the whole mythos would be this character who resides on the moon or in this different realm beyond, which is also part of Beyond the Veil, and this other character who resides in the ocean and they're kind of like cosmic love story and their separation that can't really there's like boundaries that just can't be crossed. Tonally, I feel like it m kind of shifted my sound a little bit to a more like organic sound and less reliant on synths, at least for a lot of that textural atmospheric stuff. And I think the biggest example with that one would be Between. Um, and I think that's one of my favorite songs on the album. It's very, uh, like if you could just imagine yourself walking through the forest while listening to that song, I think you'll really kind of understand where it came from. During the pandemic, I had a lot of time to walk in the woods with Khaleesi basically like a lot of time so a lot of the songs are um, kind of inspired by what I was listening to at the time when I was just alone kind of like walking through the forest. So the album Definitely, like any Seven Lions record, is going to have a lot of um, dynamics. So there's some really soft, pretty songs. Um, there's some songs with a lot more energy that go a little heavier. As far as like texture, I really tried to keep things um, in the same realm. So a lot more. Um, off time delays, a lot more vinyl sampling. I've been like going to the record store and getting like folk vinyls and like sampling them and um, putting them in the record, uh, which is something I never really have done before. And I just wanted to sound like some like organic piece of music that doesn't have like a specific time period that's like it could have been made at any time. And um, I think I've kind of hit that mark, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for people to hear it. I feel like this album is definitely very personal for me and something I'm very proud of. And, and I think it has to do with the fact that it is a full album and I really got to take my time to craft it. And I found a focus that I wanted it to be where a lot of EPs in the past are like, I'm, you know, working on a song and it's this song and it's gonna be like a big dance floor record and like, you know, then I'm working on this song and it might be a little different, but it's, um, those were very just like blips in time of like me working on these songs, but this is very much like, what do I wanna focus on? What story do I wanna tell? Um, and how can I make this feel like a cohesive statement, which has been really um, fulfilling for me. Beyond the Veil, there's stories left to tell. The idea that like, you know, life isn't 
permanent at all and that it's our responsibility to like really do all we can and experience all we can and um, I think that's like a very main part of how I live my life and kind of what I wanted to say with this album. <laughs>